Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to adjust the head gap on your L or M series turntable here. A lot of people have asked about that. But anyway, um, all you'll need to do this is a Phillips screwdriver and a feeler gauge set. You, you get these at any parts store. Amazon sells them for three or four dollars. And uh, we'll go ahead and I'll show you exactly how to make this work. So I'm going to try to do this uh, with one hand holding the camera, but uh, I may have to switch off. But anyway, how the Denons keep their speed is they use an actual, looks like a tape head from a cassette deck. And then uh, this here, in the platter, has got a magnetic field, a, a tape stripe that goes around it. And when this thing spins, if it spins at the right speed, it makes the right frequency. You know, it's like it's reading a piece of music. But anyway, there's a gap that you need to adjust to make sure that it is close enough to read the platter and play, but not too close to where it rubs. So that's where the feeler gauge comes in. So screwdriver, there's just two screws here. You, these loosen up and then you take the feeler gauge and for this adjustment, if you read it or not, six thousandths, 0.15 millimeter. Uh, some of them go up to 0.818, which is a seven thousandths. But anyway, all you would do, if I can do this here with two hands, I'm move this back, sorry, is to check the gap in here between the head and the platter, okay? And if, it's, if it is not correct, you would loosen these screws here and here and push the head, just push it up against it, not like stupid tight, but just so it's touching, then tighten them back down while the feeler gauge is in there. Okay, and you want to make sure it's uh, parallel, that the head's not crooked, you know, tilted anyway. It's straight on into the platter. And that's really all there is to it. If you do that, um, you'll have no problem with your head thing. If you get it too close, it'll ring or uh, make a rubbing sound. Too far away, it may actually even uh, start taking off at 100 mile an hour. So this is one of the easiest adjustments. A lot of times these go bad in shipping, but this is the quick way to set these up and make sure that you give years of uh, great service with them.